One of the largest gardening events of its kind is back this spring with all kinds of vendors and all kinds of offerings for gardeners. Yeah, that's why Cor Harlan is live this morning to see what's blooming at Garden Palooza this year. Cor, good morning. Morning, Travis. Good morning, Emily. We got that donut finished this morning right out of the Donut King. But we are here at Bauman Farm and Garden this morning in the uh, greenhouse, checking out some of the geraniums that are hanging baskets here that are going to be all for sale this coming uh, Friday and Saturday at the Garden Palooza down here. We're just south of Woodburn, actually, the Bauman Farm and Garden is. So if you're thinking about uh, getting your uh, surroundings, some color, getting something in the ground, now is the time to start thinking about coming down here because they've got everything imaginable that you can plant or uh, look at or put in soil. This is Brian Bauman out here. Good morning, Brian. Good How morning. are you? It's good to be good down to be here again. I love having you guys out here. This is a beautiful setup. I mean, there is so much color and so much stuff uh, here. Yeah. It, honestly, this is, this is the favorite part of my job. I love growing all these beautiful <laughs> flowers, and we've been working on it for months. Right. Um, we start right around Thanksgiving, start planting. So this is really the time to show off all the things we've been working on. Hanging baskets, plants that go, potted plants that go yeah. under the ground. Yep. More, uh, about, what, what's we the do mix a lot of that? hanging baskets. Yeah. That's what a lot of people know us for. Right. Um, and we love doing it. We have everything, but hanging baskets are kind of our thing. Garden Palooza, Friday and Saturday this week down here. 30 different vendors yeah. of all shapes and sizes. Just tell me a little bit about the program. This will be like, kind of like a Saturday market for people who like to plant things. Yes, and, and this strong, year's right? first year, it's going to be two days. Uh -huh. Normally, we just did it on Saturday, uh -huh. but I mean, it's, it's wild and crazy, and there's so much fun things to do. We just spread it over two days this uh -huh. year. I like, it's like bringing all of my friends together, and we all just work on bringing everything all into one place. So instead of kind of driving through the countryside, which is great, but right. you don't always have time to go here and then drive 20 minutes over there. Right. We're bringing everybody to one location. So everybody is bringing their best stuff, their brand new stuff, the new introductions, their tried and trues. You will find everything here this weekend. That's plants that grow in shade, plants that grow in full sun, yep. yard art. Uh, you've got a couple of sponsors you wanted to mention this yep. weekend and some giveaways as well, right? Well, Proven Winners is one of the brands that we support and we grow a lot on the farm. We're uh, one of the only places in the Northwest you can find them. This is their brand new petunia called Hoopla Vivid Orchid. Uh -huh. Beautiful kind of Picotty edge around the outside of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, um, it's beautiful. This will be your very first chance to get your hands on all of these new introductions, including some of their verbenas, caliber coas. Um, it'll be exciting. Big uh, mom and pop kind of nurseries and gardens will be around here, as well as some of the big, uh, the bigger outfits as well. They've got all sorts of different hanging baskets, things that go into yep. the ground. I'm not speaking out of turn here. It's all here uh, this weekend. Uh, and I know as I walk around here, Travis and Emily, I see a lot of people out in the yard on days when it's not raining. It doesn't have to be necessarily sunny, but people are itching. People have got the itch to get out in the yard and make some of the space that they live in look a little bit nicer and add a little bit of color there. Tim's already onto that one. What is, what is that one again, that purple one the he's looking at there? The purple one is there? called Iochroma, and it has this really unique, beautiful flower. Well, Tim's going to walk home with an Iochroma, I think, this morning, <laughs> Travis. Very cool. There it is from Bauman Farm and Garden this morning where we're getting ready for Garden Palooza. I feel like we're having like the bumblebees point of view. All right. Flying <laughs> into the flowers with the camera there. Very cool. Are yeah. any of you green thumbs? Oh, Not yeah. at all. Oh, no. Are you? Not at yes. all. Oh, <laughs> so you're the only one on this desk. <laughs> yes, but yes. <laughs> so, okay. okay then. They're all like right. those hard to kill plants. Oh, uh, like you a succulent or something patio like that. I was going to say, I have well, one like, little pothos that's hanging on. Mm. That's about my it. My little mm. indoor plants are, I'm not trying to, Plan a whole garden, but I got my, you know, bird of paradise, and she's beautiful. Okay. Well, there you go. There you well, go. Well, if you are trying to plant a whole garden, Garden Blues <laughs> is a good place to go this weekend. And I think we're going to have a really nice couple yeah. of days this week for gardeners. We should. You know, we'll see more dry time than rainy moments. So get outside, even if it's a little cloudy.